Hello, I'm Taj, digitally known as Tropic Vibes, the host of Nifty Business, where we highlight NFTs and explore Web 3.0 as we move from pure speculation to creating real world value. Hey everybody, just a quick update. I just want to let you know what's going on with the show. I have some episodes coming out right now. I've recorded quite a bit, but I'm still traveling and I brought my equipment, at least the part that was mobile. I didn't have my roadcaster and all those different things that made editing and recording extremely easy, but I'm on the road with my laptop. I have a mic that I'm holding in my hand, what have you, but I just want to give you a little update as to why episodes have been slowing down. I am still putting out content, trying to interact as best as I possibly can on Twitter, using the newsletter and so forth. In case you're not subscribe to that niftybusinessweek.com. However, based on my workflow, I didn't realize how much I relied on a lot of the equipment that I have in my space. And right now at my mom's house, recording in a closet, what have you, it is just very difficult right now. Until I get back home with my work setup and everything, my monitors and all that stuff, I'm still stateside, have not returned back to Jamaica as yet. But a few things that are coming down the pipeline that I wanted to let you know about really quick is number one, I am working on a couple interesting things, exploring options as to basically how I'm going to keep the lights on, how I'm going to pay the bills for this show. If you have been following this show, you know that I decided to jump in, go full time Web3 starting this year. I left the family business, what have you. And I've been trying to monetize this content without necessarily running ads, which absolutely sounds crazy to most people. And I totally understand. I know that. Um, how are you going to monetize content without having sponsors? However, over the last couple of weeks, I sort of came up with a plan on how I'm going to do that. Of course, this is the NFT business show, dabbling with Manifold and the different drops and being able to mint burn and all sorts of things. Just have some token gated experience, nothing to really get rich off of, but cover the cost of the hosting and different that I use to research and create this content at a ridiculously reasonable price and over deliver on the back end because one of the hardest things with being a podcaster is not really having that direct interaction with a lot of people because it is so hard to understand as to what the people really want because unlike YouTube, where there's a comment section, people have to take an extra step of either opening up an email, going to Twitter, and then responding to me that way. So it is a complete nightmare trying to get the response of people, understanding exactly what sort of things are they interested in, trying to run polls and what have you. There's always that extra layer. Hey, go over to Twitter, fill out that poll, shoot me a tweet email me. And that's why I'm constantly asking those things is because generally speaking, I know what I'm interested in, but I'm not just making the show for myself. I want everyone that is listening to this to really find value in it and understand exactly where you guys want me to go because we are building this stuff. We're learning together. We're breaking things and we're learning. But at the end of the day, we want to be connected to other people. And that was why it was cool to go to NFT Miami, connect with some people. But going forward, I would absolutely love for people to get more engaged with me. And sometimes it feels like pulling teeth because as I said, it's just the life of a podcaster. And I'm not complaining. This is just across the board. Every podcaster you speak to, unless you're Joe Rogan or one of these guys with hundreds of millions of listens and so forth, we all have the same complaint. The the same issue is that, man, it is so hard to get in touch with our listeners, our audience to build a community. So A couple ideas that I do have, of course, is using tokens. This is the NFT business show. So rolling out a token that would sort of kill two birds with one stone, help to connect with the audience, over deliver on the back end, make it a ridiculously reasonable mint price, which would just be laughable in the space. This is a quote unquote NFT. Like why would he even bother going through that at this level? Because yeah, sure, I could do other things such as Patreon and what have you. But I want to tap into this technology, which I know with all my heart is going to be the future and use it within the show, building community, connecting with the audience and being able to deliver value in the long run. I think this is going to be a great way doing that. In addition to that, answering that question, how exactly am I going to monetize this stuff without taking sponsorships from an exchange or whatever it might be? Well, simple things like referral codes, which you might hear me say, okay, check out this book, Bitcoin Standard or whatever it might be. Those are usually in the show notes and and I'm not just plugging those for revenue. It's because I literally read those things and when you look at the Amazon percentages anyways, it's like a couple cents for a book. But going forward, if I do find something that is extremely beneficial, I will present it to the audience. However, being this whole crypto space and everything and not wanting to get involved with that, what I realized is I have 
almost 500 episodes of a podcast right now. I have videos. I have all sorts of content that I've been creating. So why not just sort of do a spinoff and just basically offer services and what have you to people that are interested in creating their own content and learning how I do this stuff and what have you, which is just really cool and fun anyways, just having a nice conversation. And that would be the way to monetize on the back end. So without impacting directly this show, without having to plug anything that might have to stay up at night wondering, would this thing be in the existence in a month or two, that is definitely not the route that I'm going to go. But if I basically monetize on the side, meaning that as I'm going forward saying, hey, this is what I've learned. This is how I'm doing things. This is how I created the podcast. This is how I created the newsletter and so forth. Those sort of things in a separate channel, not on this channel and saying, hey, this is that. But what I mean is working with other creators, whatever, partnering with them, maybe going do some guest speaking, what have you. And that was how I would monetize this indirectly. So of course, you listen to this, you might not hear that and see that, but I just want to let you know, these are the things that I'm working on in the background. And while things are a little bit slow, as far as putting out the content, I'm recording, what have you, but when it comes to editing and everything, it's just been a rougher path than I thought. And I've tried to record multiple ways just using, you know, headphones and what have you in a car, but I just, my setup, it, it, it just doesn't work. And when I hear it, I'm like sitting down and, it, you know, the low energy and what have you. And if I didn't want to listen to it, I figured, well, you know what? You guys probably won't want to listen to it. So now I'm just ranting, but just keeping things on topic. Yes, the show is still on track, loving what's going on in this NFT space. The things that I've discovered over the last two, three weeks, just absolutely mind-blowing, amazing stuff. And I can definitely tell you some great things are coming. Been in contact with quite a few people, people that I've met at the conference, even after that, even LinkedIn. Like, wow, I've met some very interesting people that are building in Web3 in LinkedIn, and they'll probably be on the show in the future. Haven't been doing a lot of interviews because at the end of the day, a lot of people just aren't really available to do interviews unless they're trying to shell. And I want to do something that really brings value to you guys. So always, I appreciate you listening to this as we're learning and building Web3 together. So until next time, later. The Nifty Business Show is not investment advice. It provides insights and information within the space. As with anything, please do your own research before making a decision whether you're making an investment or a purchase.